Hi, Steve here with Hunting Tactical. In this video, I want to go over some of the durability testing for the new patterns we're putting out for the HT60. I can't go into exactly who's putting out the, the coating, but I can go and tell you this is company Go and this is company No Go. Both these companies produce uh, finishes for all the major labels, Remington, Ruger, Mossberg, Winchester, all the name brands that, that you recognize. Um, what I can say is that company NoGo uses a hydro finish uh, on their products. Um, and I honestly don't even know what company Go is doing, but I'll tell you that it is great quality. Uh, it is the quality that you'll you get with any hunting tactical product. So without further ado, we're going to do some chemical tests and some, uh, some abrasion testing here and kind of show you why we didn't go with Company No Go and why we're going with Company Go. Um, I'll also say that neither of these are patterns that you're going to see on any HD60 just yet. Um, these are just samples that they provided us to, to review. Um, you know, we're releasing the Armacoat Elk Camp, the Armacoat top hex base camp and a pink that is going to be a variation of the top hex uh, base camp. Um, hopefully the first two will be out in a couple of weeks. We're taking pre-orders right now. Um, but to start with, we've just got some conventional hops gun oil here. And I'm going to just put some of that down on there. We'll let it just kind of soak in. We've got just some standard REM oil. We'll move up to some break free. And then just some nail polish remover acetone. Let that soak in. I've also got here some 150 grit sandpaper and we'll see how this holds up here. So right there on the no-go you can see the powder coming off and how it's digging into their finish. And here on the go, you can see you do get some of the powder, but it wipes right off and it's not getting into any of the finish there. I'm going to take just a conventional hunting knife. And you can see hunting knife takes it right down and I'm actually getting it right off down to the black polymer for the HT60. Do the same thing on the gull. And you can see I'm taking chunks right out of the plastic there but it's not hurting the actual pattern at all. We'll also look in here and you can see where the acetone is. That's already starting to bubble up. And you can see I'm just taking taking that right off there. The REM oil Break free, that's holding up pretty well. You can see here with the acetone, it, it's really not doing anything. I mean, that's the same thing you got over here with the knife, and it's, it's really not even digging into that, and it, it's leaving the pattern really intact right there. Same thing, you know, break free and the royals, they're really not touching it at all. Acetone that I dumped on there. 
really not doing it anything to it. So the next test I'm going to take hacksaw. I'm really going to try and dig in here and show you how deep in you get with this finish. And I can kind of chunk it out a little bit here. Try and zoom the camera in there. I mean, you can see how thick that layer really is right there. I mean, it's just right down in and bonded as part of the plastic. I can tell you what they do do in this. I don't know their whole process, but they do heat this thing up really hot and bake that down in. Okay, if I do the same thing to this uh, hydro dipped here. You can see there, there's, I mean, there's really, there's almost nothing into the plastic right there. It, it's just almost like a paint on the surface. And you can actually see back here when we were doing some product testing, how we just chipped it right off installing the swivel end on the HT60. Um, this one is more assembled, but I can tell you that that did not occur in there. So again, these are the new patterns, uh, coatings that we're offering on the HT60, and I wanted to go over some durability testing for you and show you the quality product you'll get from Hunting Tactical.